Hey, good morning guys. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can add human models into our ArchViz project to make it more realistic and to bring more life into our environment. So by putting human models into our environment, we can improve the look and feel of our environment and increase the realism of our project. In this tutorial, we will use human models from random people and uh, I've included a link in the description below where you can download um, the free models uh, that we will be using in this tutorial. So if you haven't done so, why don't we proceed to download the models first and then we will continue with the tutorial. So for this tutorial, we will make use of the free models available in Render People. And there are two types of models in Render People. Basically, one of them is Post People and one of them is rig people okay so what are the difference between post and rig people post people are 3d human models that come with a post we cannot change the way they post so it acts like a human cutout the great thing about post people is that we can bring them in as static meshes so we can use light mesh to bake the lighting on them where we will get very natural looking shadows we also do not need to spend time on creating their poses as they have already been posted um, when you download them in Render People. And you can shop around in um, Render People to find the models that are suitable for your projects. For Rig People, on the other hand, they already have bones attached to them. Okay, these bones can help us easily shape our models into the pose we want them to have. We can also add animations to these rigged models. In this tutorial, we will be using both the Pose People and the rig people. We will bring in a post figure and place it in our room and then import our rig model as well, create a post and place it in our environment as well. So for this particular tutorial, I want you to download the uh, FBX file for the post people and the Unreal Engine file for the rig people. Okay, so continue to do that and we will come back later. So after downloading the post people model, we will proceed to import these files after unzipping the files, you'll be presented with um, these files uh, from Render People. So check to make sure that the texture folder is there and the textures are actually inside um, the folder as well. So for this project, we want to import the 100k FBX file. Okay, so let's proceed to import that project right now. Or rather FBX file right now, which is this particular one. Okay, make sure that um, you generate the light map UVs because this FBX file, um, there's no UV created previously. So we will let Unreal Engine generate the light maps for us. And once we import it, let's make sure we import the textures as well. Okay, so we can ignore this um, error message, but remember to import the two textures as well. Okay, as you can see, when we import the model, the model is white in color without any texture being attached to it. So right now, as we import the texture, um, once we have imported it, we will create the texture and then uh, we will continue again. So once the models and textures are created properly, we can simply drag out our post people into the scene. Okay, it's a very simple step. Okay, so we can just rotate and place our people correctly according to where we want them to be. And then um, that, is, that is it. However, I want to highlight that for human models, um, because they are quite organic looking, what I will do is I will set the light map resolution to more than 256 or something higher as they are more organic looking than the rest of the models. Okay. So this will give the model more real estate areas in terms of the light maps. Once we have placed the models, we can then proceed to bake our light maps and let's see the result after that. Okay, so we have finished building our lighting. As you can see, um, this is using the post people and the shadows have been calculated and generated nicely. And uh, looking at all these uh, shadows created by the static mesh, this is the 
co uh, the pros of using uh, post people because they are imported in as static mesh um, they can be included in our light mesh building and therefore they will look uh, more realistic okay but their posts are fixed so now we are going to continue with rigged people okay right now we're going to import our rigged people and again if there are any textures issues we will um, fix them so when you download the rig people, you'll be given these files. What is important is instead of importing these rig people, all we have to do is just copy this folder into the content folder of our project directory. Okay, my project is in um, Unreal Pro uh, D Drive, Unreal Projects, Blueprint Sandbox, and under the content folder, all I have to do is just copy this uh, folder that is in the render people file. And once you have copied it, it will appear in our project and the mesh will be created here. Okay, so the next thing we have to check is the materials because what happened is when we import in, sometimes there will be errors. We have to reassign back the proper materials into um, this master material, okay, as there are errors here. So what we can do is let's assign the appropriate textures to the correct nodes. Okay, you can see that they are they have been named diffuse. You can find um the diffuse material by searching for I believe this person is called Eric. Okay, by searching for Eric and then we can assign the textures to the correct nodes. Okay, so the diffuse to the diffuse node and then the mask to the mask node here. Okay. Mask zero one. Okay, let's make it bigger. And then let's look for mass zero two gloss and normal. Once that is done, let's oops, I think I assigned the wrong normal. So once that is done, we can we can test out okay let's go to the mesh and we can test this out as you can see um, the materials are looking good so right now we just need to continue to post this person and then we can place him in our maps let's continue as you can see a rig model usually comes with what we call a T post Okay, it's a person standing like that with with his arms uh, raised to the raised high. So this is usually the case for rig model. For this project, I would like our model Eric to stand in a corner with his arms folded. So in Unreal Engine, we can create human poses using rig people by using Unreal Engine's animation tool. So let's navigate to the rig um, model. Okay, which is this particular portion under the skeleton tab. We can see that the bones are already assigned and we can move the body parts around so like for example i can move the lower arm okay and twist it you see and we can then move the body parts to the pose that we want him to have so right now i'm going to twist um, his arms a bit okay twist sounds a bit um too painful for him so i'm going to change his pose a bit and then um, so that he will have his arms folded and once we are done we, are, we will continue with the tutorial okay so i'm going to move um let's change the camera speed i'm going to move his body a bit all right maybe i want him to look down uh, out of the window to see the the ground so i'll tilt his head a bit so what we can do is we can choose the particular uh, body parts highlight the body parts and do the change okay or if we want we can also highlight the body parts from here so we can look for the head um, where is the head let's look for it so we can choose the head and then we can move the body parts okay so I'm gonna twist his hum arms a bit okay Let's bring it closer. Oh, not this particular one. I'm gonna 
highlight the upper arm and twist it a bit okay i'm going to twist this shoulder a bit as well where is the shoulder okay twist it a bit all right so i'm going to do the same thing for this twist the shoulder a bit and then twist the upper arm okay then i'm going to fold his hands highlight the lower arm and fold Oops, that's too much. And same thing for this. Okay, so this one I'm going to move it a bit inwards. Okay, I want this this particular hand to rest on top of the other hand yep so let's just make sure everything is looking good okay yes okay so he's folding his arms his arms are folded and he's looking a bit down looking downwards okay so this is the pose that i want him to have all right i think i'm happy with this pose okay so what we are going to do is we're going to record an animation okay although he's not moving we will still need the animation tool to create this pose okay so we don't have to create a long one just a maybe one or two seconds animation and he is not moving okay so all we have to do is press this record button okay and he will ask you to save the pose okay so under this folder uh, rp character oh sorry uh, doesn't matter just save it in one of the folders for me i just create it under a new folder called poses and i'll put it as still arms folded oops let's put it as still arms folded okay once that is done let's stop the recording so it's just a one one second animation without him moving and once that is done it is him folding his arms okay so let's save all of this and continue to the next part of the lesson okay so finally we will place our rig character into the scene okay so what we can do now is we can drag out um, the character into where we want him to be okay so this is where i want him to be and as you can see he's still in his in his t-shaped pose okay so we need to assign him our animation asset so what we can do is we highlight um, our character and then under animation mode let's change it to use animation asset and then assign it the still arms folded and then you can see that his hands are folded and he's looking down okay so perhaps you feel that he is a bit too big in size so let's change it to a smaller size it depends on you okay looking good so that's it all you have to do is assign a new asset a new animation asset okay for for rig people i will also suggest that we turn on the capsule shadow so let's turn on the capsule direct shadow and the capsule um, indirect shadow but if you have a very strong directional lighting shining on him then i will suggest let's to turn it off to turn the direct shadow off but if it is a dim room like this then i would suggest to turn on both the shadow and play around with the shadows and lighting to make it look nicer okay so in this way we can create many many poses for 
um, your people models using rigged humans. Okay, so I hope this course has been beneficial to you. And remember to subscribe to our channel if you love what we are doing here. And comment below if you have any questions or if you just want to give us a thumbs up or you would like to suggest anything that we can do for the channel. Okay, I put a link below in the description to renderpeople.com. So if you would like to look for more models to put into your digital environment, you can find a lot of models there that I believe will enhance your project and create more realism in your project models in Unreal Engine. Okay, so thank you and I will finish this tutorial. I will see you again soon. Bye!